Hey y'all, my name is Priscilla and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my TBR for the Latinexathon. So the Latinexathon is a readathon that I am co-hosting that starts on September 15th. If this is the first time you are hearing about this, make sure to check out the description box below. I will include my announcement video, recommendations video, and all the information you need to know to participate. But I think that most people are here to see the books that I had chosen to read, so let's go ahead and jump into those. So the first book that I definitely want to read is called Serena Selena and this is by Mayra Santos Febres and it is translated by Stephen Little. This is a book that was first put on my radar when Roxanne over at the Novel Sanctuary mentioned it in a haul I believe. But um, Roxanne is also Puerto Rican, she reads a lot of Puerto Rican own voices Latinx work. So that is why I really want to read this finally. This is a book that will complete the Voices Challenge because it is written by an Afro Latinx author as well as Roots because it is translated. And this is a story, I believe it's contemporary fiction, that follows a 15 year old teen that was living on the streets of San Juan when a drag queen by the name of Martha Divine swoops in to save them and uh, bring them in to this world of singing, boleros, and uh, performing and transforming into Serena Selena. So uh, from the Goodreads summary, it sounds like it's gonna be very queer and that it will examine identity and sexuality and gender. And it's about time that I read it because it's been sitting on my shelf for too many months. Next up, I have a graphic novel. I always like to include a graphic novel for week-long readathons. And that is Vincent Book One, A Guide to Love, Magic, and RPG by Vitor Cafaga. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but the author is Brazilian. This is also translated from Portuguese to English, so it covers the prompts of heritage and roots. The translator's name isn't actually on the cover, it's on the inside flap here, but it's translated by Jeff Whitman. The main character here on the cover meets Lady on a bus one day. He has to work through his feelings with the support of his friends and RPG. And what really made me pick this up and purchase it was that obviously the author is Brazilian. I'm always here for Latinx literature and works, but also the Art style looks so, so adorable. All the main characters are animals. So I'm just really excited to have a, an adorable graphic novel to read. Next up, I have Blanca y Roja by Anna Marie McLemore. So I've heard this described as YA magical realism. It's a fairy tale retelling of, I believe, Snow White and the Swan Lake, maybe a mixture of those things. And this would cover the prompt of Latinidad because the author is queer. Also, I am low key catching up on Latinx Book Club because this was the group read for August and I didn't get around to it. So the sisters in this book are Blanca y Roja and their family has sort of been cursed for generations and they know that one of them is going to be cursed to become a swan and they're sort of pitted against each other there's a rivalry there's friendship there's sisterhood all the kinds of things that i love to read in mecklemore's books so uh, this is a bit of a chunkier book but i definitely think that if i dedicate enough time to it during the readathon i can get through most of it if not all of it but fingers crossed, I'm really excited to read more into McLemore's magical realism. So I'm keeping my TBR pretty simple so that way I don't overwhelm myself. But of course, the next read that I have to talk about is The Grief Keeper by Alexandra Villasante. That would of course complete the challenge of hashtag let the next lit takeover because that's the group read. And I'm really excited to read it. I did actually start this book a couple of months ago when I had the ebook checked out from my library, but I didn't finish it in time. This time around, I'm actually gonna be getting the audiobook in time for our readathon so I will be listening. This is a story about uh, sisters 17 year old Marisol and her younger sister Gabby who are fleeing El Salvador and seeking asylum in the United States. Upon reaching the United States they are branded as illegal and in order to stay here Marisol accepts entrance into this experimental program where she will act as a grief keeper. Um, so this is I think YA contemporary with speculative fiction elements thrown in. The author of this book is also Salvadorian. The author of Blanca y Roja is Mexican-American. So I'm also going to be completing the bonus challenge of having uh, authors that are of all different heritages with this set TBR. 
So like I said, I'm keeping my TBR pretty simple this round. I don't want to overwhelm myself with too many books, even though I will probably be reading more. I've already checked out a number of children's picture books because I felt like reading some and I will definitely be finishing those up during the Latinxathon. So whatever I don't finish until then will get read probably during the week. Um, I am planning on vlogging Latinxathon all week long. So that's something that you can look forward to. Let me know if you want to see anything in that vlog that of particular interest to you. Um, I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna do for that vlog that week, but we'll see. So now onto some exciting news, some announcements for the Latinxathon. Of course, today when this video should be going up on September 1st, our giveaway is officially closed and over. We will be notifying the winners, of course, pretty soon. So look out for that. Thank you so much to all those that participated in our giveaway, that donated to our fundraiser, that are following the Latinxathon. I really appreciate it. And I think I can speak on behalf of my hosts. We all appreciate all your support. So for the first time for the Latinxathon, we will be having a live show, sort of a pre-live show before the readathon actually starts because three of the four co-hosts will be in Orlando for BookNet Fest and that felt like the right time that we should go live. So make sure you definitely check out our Twitter and our Instagram, watch those feeds because we will be announcing more details about that as the date approaches. We will be discussing all things Latinx, Latinx Lit, Latinxathon, so you'll definitely want to tune in. The next announcement that I have is that we will be doing a Q&A with the author of our group book, The Grief Keeper, Alexandra Villasante, over on Twitter. But that will be on October 3rd, and that's gonna be at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I will leave a time converter down below in case you wanna transfer and convert that time into the time of your time zone. So that is all I have for this video. Let me know in the comments if you saw anything that you're interested in reading or have read before. And let me know if you are putting up or posting a TBR sometime soon. I would love to check all those out. We always look for all the Latinx Southern TBRs to make sure to see who is participating and to get more recommendations because we're always looking for more recommendations. That is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.